Uh, it is here. The official Star Wars trailer premiered last night. I believe it was right in the middle of Monday Night Football. Fans were so excited they crashed at ticket sale sites, which are when they're trying to get pre sale tickets. So come on in, Michael Avia, to explain what all this hype is about. Look, Michael, <laughs> you've been on the show before. You're the guy who bought, at the age of, in your 40s, a whole bunch of Star Wars toys. You're actually in the business. I get the impression that I'm being played here. I get the impression that no. Disney has set up this huge hype machine and we're all blindly following like lemons as if this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Am I being played? I don't think so. so morning, by the way. Yeah, morning. You know, I, think, <laughs> I actually think Disney's been really uh, even-handed about the, the promotion. They frankly don't need to promote this movie that much. The audience is there. Now, what you saw last night was the begin, beginning of the push to get the casual fan, the fan who who didn't grow up with the, the movie, doesn't really care about the Star Wars legacy that much, but knows about it. I think last night was the beginning of the push to get those fans, people like you, who aren't terribly excited about it yet, to get them excited for the movie in December. Because they want me to go to the, to the theaters. They don't want me to watch it at home 10 years from now. They want to watch this thing in the movies. Absolutely. That's what they want. And Did they want to get you and your friends and your family excited about it because, remember, this is Disney, so it's... Their tentacles are everywhere, so they want, they want you to get excited about the movie, the merchandising, and everything else that comes with it. Am I right in saying that it was uh, Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, uh, that she was kind of the star of the clip which we're running now, and that was all over social media, that's where social media exploded, is that correct? Well, there's a scene, there's one quick shot of Princess Leia near the end where she's on Han Solo's chest, and I'm sure millions and millions of fanboys went nuts over that scene, <laughs> myself included, because it really harkens back to the original trilogy. But the real star of the trailer last night, to me, was uh, Daisy Ridley, who plays Rey in the movie. She's one of the new characters, and boy, sh her character really seemed interesting to me. And I think if you, if you go on social media right now, on Twitter, and Facebook, and Instagram, mm -hmm. you're going to hear a lot of conversation about her character, and what her character may be about and what she's doing to the central story. I, I realize you're in the business, Mike. I understand that you're talking up your own book, but you do seem particularly <laughs> enthusiastic about this, which I find rather strange. I mean... No, no, I'm very excited. I watched the trailer like about a half dozen times last night right after it debuted, because one, the Monday Night Football game was terrible, so I, I wanted something else to distract myself from it. What is Plus, your it was wife also really, this? really entertaining. What does your wife say about this? <laughs> Ex-wife. My wife, <laughs> my wife tolerates my Star Wars fandom. She, she's trying to fight me on going uh, on Thursday, December 17th to see the movie, but she's going to lose that fight. You've That's got the one tickets, argument right? in my household that I'm going to win. You've got your tickets? Yes, I picked up four tickets. December 17th. I picked up four tickets for four Thursday tickets. night, okay. 7 p.m. Yep. All right, no, Mike. I'm going to take you. No, no, no. Are you going to come with me? <laughs> that would be a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I'll be one. Thank you very much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Thanks very much indeed. All right. Thanks for having me on.